Hi, I am Coach Juvi and I'm one of the senior coaches of Brain Train School of Positivity. Welcome to your free session, Ultramind Introduction to the Brain Language. This session is for you to know more about Brain Train and understand the techniques or the strategies that we offer to our students. Now, since you landed here in my class, I am assuming that you are about to take or currently taking a field that would definitely be needing techniques on how to process numerical information. Now, you landed on the right class, and let me go ahead and start with our free session. I want you to pick your brain, but let's understand first, or let me ask you this question. How do you process information? Are you this type of person that uses mnemonics whenever you are memorizing fonts or lists of words? You're taking the initials of the word and create additional information out of it? Or you're using the mnemonic technique? Or are you the kind of person that uses the traditional way of repetition? So many of us are using um, processes that is the traditional way and it is exhausting to our brain. It is not the most efficient way on how to process information. Now, how does your brain process information? It's very important to understand first what's the true language of the brain. How does our brain process information? Now, let me tell you this. The true language of the brain are not words or numbers, but pictures. Yes, you heard it right. Pictures and moving objects are the true language of the brain. Therefore, it's easier for our brain to process information if it is presented in picture form. Therefore, since we needed to process information in picture form, there is a need for us to enhance or be creative when it comes to imagination or visualization. Now, let's try to have this activity. I will be flashing pairs of words or pairs of pictures and all you have to do is to excrete that creative juice from your mind and visualize these images as if they are doing an action, they are having an interaction, weird, funny, or out of this world. You may follow my visualization or you may create your own action out in the pairs of words. Remember to create an interaction that's something impossible to happen. The weirder the picture, the better. Now later, you will understand what's the point of having this imagination workout. Let's start. For our first slide, I want you to imagine, so we've got the balloon in the water here. Now think of a scene where there is a giant balloon. It's really giant. And it's sipping the water. So with the picture, don't just refer on the screen. You really need to create your own mental image. Imagine a giant balloon sipping or drinking a lot of water. Then, release that scene and we will be needing that later. Let's proceed to our second slide now. Imagine that there is a berry waking up a sleepy light bulb. So to make it even more exaggerated, as the berry tries to wake the light bulb, the berry was electrocuted. Imagine a scene where this berry was electrocuted by a sleepy light bulb. Feel the pain, feel the tension, imagine the scene. Next, I want you to visualize the boar and the car in a way that the boar is driving the car. So the boar is really inside the car. It's not chasing the car, nor... Um, Holding it, it's really inside the car and it's driving. Now create the scene, make it exaggerated. Now if you're thinking, Coach, I think it's impossible for a board to drive the car. That's the point now. We need to create impossible scenes. Trust yourself and trust the process. Let's proceed. This time, I want you to think of a knight, like an ancient soldier, and it is with an oxygen mask. Think of a scene where the knight is using the oxygen mask not for breathing, but rather it's used as an armor or as a shield. So imagine that the oxygen mask is way harder, it's way heavier compared to the ordinary oxygen mask. Exaggerate the scene. Next, 
visualize your needs. Make it personal, right? Now, imagine that your own needs, there are flowers growing on it. Imagine the flowers growing from your needs. To make it even more exaggerated, think of the exact image of the flower here with one two and with a sleepy eye figure exaggerate the scene the flower is growing from you or if you wanted to make it even more exaggerated you may use a scene where the flower is eating your needs or biting your needs you have a choice let's proceed we're almost done imagine this time that you've got a soda can and a magnet by the way the soda can it was attracted to the magnet and it tries to hog the magnet. Now, the magnet does not like the soda can and trying to pull the soda can away, but they couldn't be separated because of attraction and magnetism anymore. Now, visualize the scene where the soda can is hogging the magnet. Imagine that scene. Next, with our next slide, this is not a caterpillar. I want to emphasize that this is a silkworm. Now think of a scene where the silkworm is browsing the pictures from the photo album. So it's not just an ordinary kind of book. Emphasize in your pictures that it is a photo album or a photo book. Imagine a silkworm browsing the pictures, eating the wacky pictures out from the photo album. Next for this slide, Think of a scene where there's a surfboard and a post mail. Now, your surfboard got pen and it's trying to send a letter to your post mail. Now, upon sending the letter, the hand was stuck inside the post mail because of the post mail itself biting the hand of the surfboard. So imagine a scene where the surfboard is sending a letter and the hand was stuck inside the mouth of a post mail. Create a weirder scene if you want to. Visualize it in a very creative and impossible manner. As we proceed, think of a scene where there is an aircon thrown into a swimming pool. But the aircon wasn't damaged. Instead, the pool gets even colder. So think of a scene where there is an aircon thrown in a swimming pool, but the aircon wasn't damaged. Instead, the pool was even frozen because of the cool temperature of the air pump. And for our last slide, for our imagination workout, think of a scene where there's a human-sized banana with hands and feet, and it's drinking a liter of milk. It's literally drinking a liter of milk. Imagine that scene, taste the milk if you want to. Visualize a human-sized banana, make it bigger. Make it more exaggerated by drinking a liter of milk. Alright, now that ends our imagination workout. The instructions, by the way, is simply for you to imagine the words or the pictures together. Right? I did not instruct you to memorize something. I did not instruct you to recall or remember the specific pair or the specific partner of the image given. Now this would be helping you to understand what's the essence of processing the pictures or processing the information using the true language of your brain. If you follow the instruction, if you visualize the pairs in a very imaginative way or exaggerated manner, then you would remember all the pairs together. Coach, I did not memorize the word. Let's check. Let's check. What will happen if I will be mentioning a certain word out in the 20 words that we process, and I want you to give me the pair basing on whatever image you could remember. Assess yourself, trust yourself, and try not to go back with the previous slide. Let's, let's um, continue. Now, I want you to give me, assess yourself, give me or tell me what is the pair of your balloon. It's with water. That's right. What is with your berry? What's the partner of the berry? It's waking up the light bulb. Correct. What is with your boar? You're not memorizing, just visualize the pair. Your boar is driving the 
car. Good job. Now tell me what's with your knight, the ancient soldier. It's holding the oxygen mask. Very good. And I'm hoping that you're still not looking at your previous slide. Let's proceed. What is with your knee? Your own knees, there are what growing? Flowers growing. Very good. As we continue, tell me what is the pair of your soda can. Soda can is with magnet. Good job. What about the silkworm? It's not a caterpillar. I emphasize it's the silkworm browsing the photo album. Very good. As we continue, remember or give me the pair of your surfboard. Having hands and feet, it's with the post mail. Correct. Now, as we continue, what is the pair of your airpods? Swimming pool. Very good. And the last pair, tell me what's with your banana. The human sized banana with hands and feet is raising the bed. Very good. Now, I am assuming that you got all the words correctly. That is, if you visualize them, using a very creative or exaggerated method. Now, coach, I failed to forget some of the images. Probably, it wasn't as creative or it wasn't that exaggerated or probably you are just referring or you are just looking at the pictures and you didn't create a mental image on your face. That's how important the techniques are. You have to make sure that all of the techniques or all of the um, pictures or all of the instructions given are followed for you to successfully understand the concept of the power method. Now, what's important about this or what's even amazing about this technique is it's not just an imagination workout. It's the basic technique or basic concept that you have to understand before we proceed with the rest of the techniques that you want them to enroll or start with the training. This is called your amazing association technique. And we are starting with the application already because would you believe that with that certain activity that we had earlier, you are already processing the first 20 elements of the previous table. Without mentioning the specific elements, you already have the idea that these are 20 elements from the previous table. Coach, it does not make sense. Now let me um, decode the instruction or let me decode the pictures that we have earlier. If you remember, we've got the first pair, balloon and water. These are symbolisms for hydrogen and helium. Hydro for water, helium is for the balloon. Your light bulb and your berry is for lithium and beryllium. Now, your bore and your car is for boron and carbon. Am I making sense? Let's continue. Your night and your oxygen mask is for nitrogen and oxygen mask. I mean oxygen, yes. Now, you've got neat and your flower is for fluorine and neon. So, these are elements. Now, as we try to convert your magnet and your soda can, you've got sodium and magnesium. Now, for your silicon, that's for silkworm. That's why I emphasize that it's not caterpillar because it will give you a different information or a different feel, a head, um, idea rather. Now, your um, album is for aluminum element and you've got also the surfboard for sulfur, post for phosphorus, aircon for argon, swimming pool is for chlorine because most of the swimming pools got chlorine on them. And lastly, you've got the banana for potassium and milk for calcium. So that's how we apply the true language of the brain or the techniques in processing information. Now, with this, we have processed the elements of the periodic table. But how do we process numerical information such as what's flashed in the screen? So you will see here, this is from one of my classes, engineering students. And we try to memorize the values of specific sine, cosine, or tangent, or the trigonometric function. Now, we've got techniques on how to do that. And it's purely imagination as well. We also got techniques on how to memorize sections or articles. If you are processing law materials, 
or just even wanting to memorize the concept or bulk information, we have techniques to help you with that. You may also take advantage of the techniques whenever you wanted to memorize just like this one, series of information. Um, four digits or up to cell phone numbers, you can have or you may acquire the technique on how to do it. Now, if you wanted to witness an on-the-spot memorization, you may refer to, for us, or like you can book a live session for you to witness the coach to um, demonstrate the power memory technique or the blindfold method on the spot. Now, I want to share the session that we are offering to our students for you to have the idea on what to expect with the sessions that you will be taking. First session will be focused on our creativity history. Since we know that pictures are the true language of the brain, it's very essential to boost that creativity by feeding you with principles about effective visualization. Session four will focus on the unleashing of your brain power with the blindfold method, because we will be teaching you right after the second session, you will be taught how to do mental compartments using the blindfold method. Session three is for your beyond words technique, where we will be teaching you how to convert abstract terms, difficult terms, long terms into something familiar to our brain. Just like what we had earlier, your um, bore turns out to be boron, car is for carbon, um, the, the swimming pool is for clergy. How do we do that? We will be teaching you that in our third session. Our session is focused on creating your memory palace or your mental projectors where you will be taught how to create anchors attached to objects, um, location, and person using the mind painting technique. And for our first fifth session, you will be taught how to convert numerical information using the power numerics technique. So if you're concerned more about how do I memorize functions, uh, formulas, concept relating, numeric, power numeric technique would be very beneficial for you. Our engineering students, our accounting students, stream students, law students are using this technique very much. Here are some of our students. Um, we have an office in Ilipilo where, where we are assisting FINMA nursing students. We also had um, students from Iskok Dingley Campus. These are students taking education as their course. We also continue to have our level up series nationwide under FINMA University. We have in Cebu, in Pangasinan, and in Cagayan de Oro. Most of these students are medical students. And we still continue to have it online via Double Mind Seminar. These are MedTech students as well. We had our first international seminar in Thailand last 2019. It, it was face to face before pandemic. And this is conducted at Ancient Institute of Technology. So that ends our session for uh, brain training. This session is just for you to understand what brain training is. So we are an after-school program that offers techniques on how to process information and give you strategy on how to maximize the full potential of your brain. Now, if you wanted to know more about our training and our course, feel free to avail our live session or feel free to take advantage of our fresh course for you to um, Try and understand how easy it could be in processing or memorizing information. Now, this is not just focused with memory, it's focused on your mentality in understanding the true language of the brain, maximizing your visualization and imaginative skills. Now, once again, I am Coach Judy. Thank you for your time and effort, and I hope to have you in one of our Power Memory sessions. Bye for now.